eldest daughter. But at least me not forget my mother, who was also involved in the beginning of Holy Family House. The first house that um, was purchased, I'm not sure what year, was a dilapidated, run-down house that we had to fight the county to fix up. Boy, did I learn plumbing, electrical work, you know, you name it, it needed done. Um, but we finally passed code and we moved our first family in. And what a miracle that was to have that family move in there. So, Dad, being the person he was, was not satisfied with just one house. So he went to a um, upper class apartment building and they said we could use three units there. So we put that on the ball. Well, the clientele did not like the fact that they had homeless people living with them. So we were kicked out of there. So anyway, um, you know, Dad's phone just never stopped ringing, you know, um, people calling. I, how his name got out there, I don't know, but I, I remember being in the basement thinking, is my boyfriend ever going to get through? <laughs> you know? <laughs> we need a second line. But anyway, um, so Dad happened to um, work for C. Curtis Morgan who at the time with the board owned um, Del Grove and Swan Meadows. And he went before the board and uh, told him his plight of the homeless and there came Del Grove. So, and the Karases have carried on that legacy. Um, one of my, well, I'm going to go over to Swan Meadows because now we're in Swan Meadows, which is wonderful uh, that the Karases have been so kind to, um, to do this. But talk about fond memories. I tell you what, my dad knew so many people and made so many phone calls. We made trip after trip after trip after trip after trip, picking up furniture, bedding, whatever. I mean, I was his sidekick, along with my daughter, who was four at the time. You know, it was the three of us, and you know, he just um, Holy Family House to him. I can't even put into words what it meant to him. You know, he grew up a poor farm boy who was fostered out, and um, he died knowing that he helped others. And that's all that really matters. So, praise God.